if I run this, watch, pool, not to Joe, value 10. So now we have the location, we have the event by name, and then the value to do something with it. So ideally in this game, he would change this value to do something with it. Well, well it's not fully modded, right? But you would, you would make variables and you get the idea. You, you would continue on from this point to where you don't have to. Uh, but e even at this point, you don't have to uh, do what he does. See, because I can move around my <laughs> variables. He can't. Even though this is hard-coded, so this is what I was trying to show you guys. Even though this is hard-coded, I can move it around now. And I still find the same thing I was looking for. Where's my function that looks for it? Example C. Yeah, so I still find pool and not to Joe, and then I get the value from it. So I found pool, not to Joe, and then the value. And it doesn't matter, again, where it is. I can move it around. Pirate software can't move his code around, guys. That's the simplest way to put this. If you're still confused, he can't modify his code. If you do it the right way, as I'm showing here, again, you can. not That's it. That's it. That's all we're saying. It's very simple to understand. You could have just used a JSON, done the same exact thing, or just done something like this where you loop through the JSON and you have everything listed out like this and you can search for the tag instead of an index. That's the big thing. He's searching for a number. His entire game, he has to go back and reference numbers. If you do this properly, you only have to reference the location and then the event name. And now I can have as many events as I want per location, which again, he can't do as well, right? And I can say ride, um, ride slide and then so I can just keep going and going and given all these different values and stuff but he can't do any of that he has to list each thing out and comment it which is just rookie as heck okay anyways I'm done bye